Today I'm going to be showing you eight really easy fine motor skills activities to do with two year olds. Hi guys, I'm Cara, I'm mum to 25 month old Ben and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Recently, Ben has developed a lot more concentration, a lot more interest in doing fine motor skills, so it's something that we've been doing at home quite a lot. He does have some toys that help to develop fine motor skills, but all of the activities that I'm going to show you today use things that you'll probably have around the house or things that you can get your hands on really easily. So let's get started with my eight really easy fine motor skills activities for two-year-olds. And first up, we have tearing and cutting activities. Last month for Ben's second birthday, he did get a pair of toddler scissors and these have really helped ignite his interest in cutting. Ben is slowly developing his confidence with scissors. He does really enjoy cutting these strips of coloured paper. It seems to be easier for him at the moment just to make a simple cut. And then he also really likes um, tearing pieces where I've already put a small cut. We can also then use these cut squares for making collages, so for sticking, which is another good activity for fine motor skills and also helps him to start following a bit of a process. So first of all, he's putting the glue onto the paper and then he's sticking it onto his picture. This is something that Ben really enjoys doing and can easily fill 45 minutes to an hour for us. And obviously, as he becomes more confident with the scissors, we can start to cut out shapes and develop his scissor skills. And next up we have water transfer activities. Anything that involves water is always a huge hit with my toddler. Ben uses this little pipette to transfer the water from one jar to another. They are really inexpensive. Um, I will link the ones that we have below and are just great for playing with in the bath or in the sink too. There are also these little syringes that come with Calpol, which is our children's paracetamol here in the UK. They are one of my favourite resources. They come along with medication for free and they ignite so much interest. You can push them in the water so that bubbles blow out and then obviously pull them up to fill them with the water. There is just so much learning at play with these little syringes. Ben also just loves to pour, so this activity did end up for us being a pouring activity, which is actually another great fine motor skill. It teaches lots of control, and it's something that we do quite often at home as a practical life activity at the dinner table. Elastic bands on a pine cone is essentially just getting toddlers to take something elastic off of a pine cone. This is of course one that is great for fine motor control, but it's also super for problem solving and teaching toddlers to have a little bit of patience when something becomes quite frustrating. It definitely took Ben a while before he got the hang of this, so it did require patience from both of us, but I started with just three bobbles so that they weren't tangling together too much. You can definitely add more pieces of elastic to it as toddlers become more confident and more dexterous with this activity. Exploding a purse is definitely one of the easiest activities to set up and is something that you'll definitely have kicking around somewhere at home. There is just so much to explore here, opening and closing the zip, pulling out the cards from their holder and putting them back in again. It's also a great one to involve in small world play, so if you have some play food for example, you can set up a little cafe or an ice cream stall and then they can pull out their wallet. I also have to say that if we are ever looking to keep Ben busy in a restaurant for example, we will just give him our wallets to play with because it keeps him busy for so long. Tape resist painting is probably my favourite out of all the activities today. Ben is an arts and crafts fan and also a huge fan of stickers, so this one went down exceptionally well. So Ben is a huge fan of dogs and all things dog related, so here I've got some masking tape bones that I just cut out by myself. Here I've got what will be the dog's bowl, just masking tape with a tiny bit to the table so it doesn't move around. Here I've got some circles which will be the dog's biscuits. And here I just have a jar of orange paint and one of Ben's paintbrushes. I was actually really impressed that Ben had the patience to peel and stick all of these pieces of tape onto the dog's bowl and then he loved to make it a huge mess with the paint and then again he had the patience to peel all of these little bits of tape off again. As you saw, I had actually used paper for this activity the first time round, but the paper ripped when it was wet and Ben was peeling the stickers back off. So we just repeated the activity again with cardboard, which was way more successful. He was genuinely so excited by the finished product and played with it for a really long time with his dogs. 
I think it looks super cool and would be great for making Christmas or birthday cards or even wrapping paper. Tweezer transfer is like the water transfer activities that you saw earlier, but uses bowls with different objects and a chunky pair of tweezers. Again, these were super inexpensive and I'll link them below. Ben used to do this type of activity with a spoon or a scoop, but now we have moved on to the tweezers and he's just starting to practice with them. I think it's super cute how he uses them at the moment. You can use anything for this type of transfer activity, dried pasta, curtain rings, bottle tops, literally anything that you think is interesting. And this threading activity was inspired by some of the beautiful wooden threading toys that Ben has. I'll link one below for you in case you want to see what's available to buy. But it is so easy to make one using cardboard and a shoelace. I just used a hole punch to punch some holes around the edges and then coloured around them with crayon. You can see on the other side that Ben also helped me when it came to colouring in. Can you put it through the blue hole? Yeah. And you don't have to use colours, you could also keep it blank, you could add numbers or pictures to add a language element or a learning element like I have. And the threading board could be on any scale, you could make a smaller, more intricate one, or you could make a giant one in a cardboard box. There are just so many opportunities to be creative with threading activities and it's one that fascinates toddlers. And finally, we have pins on a board. This is one that definitely involves knowing your child. Ben very rarely puts anything in his mouth. He's very good at following instructions, so I was very happy to give him drawing pins, but you will know your child best and whether this is a suitable activity for them. Of course, Ben was supervised the whole time while using these. I just used a cork pan stand from Ikea, but a pegboard would totally work, and some drawing pins. This would definitely work better with pins that have more of a handle, so I would recommend using those instead if you have them. Ben then just stuck the pins in anywhere on the cork and he was super intrigued. It required a lot of concentration and patience and I was surprised oh, how lost he was in this activity. Ooh, it definitely captivated his interest. He also really enjoyed taking the pins back out again. You could also perhaps put a piece of paper with a pattern on top of the cork for the toddlers to put the pins in along the lines once they're a little bit more confident or perhaps once they're a little bit older. Again, there are just so many options with this one. A lot of these activities have been kind of Montessori inspired and I just thought it was worth mentioning that if we set out an activity for Ben and he uses the resources that we've set out in a slightly different way to what we planned or expected or equally if he has just no interest in doing that activity on that given day, that is totally okay. We'll just either let him use the resources in a different way or keep that activity and present it to him in a few weeks time. Equally, it's really important to look at what your child's interested in. I know that anything at the moment with water or animals will be a massive hit with Ben, so it's really important to follow the child too and present something that definitely meets their interests. I do now have a whole playlist with lots of toddler activity ideas, which I'll link at the end of this video, so please go check that out if you want to see more. Also, if you've enjoyed today's video, please have a think about hitting the subscribe button. I do post a video about being a toddler parent every single week. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you'll join me again soon. Bye bye!